Hello and welcome to the first ever video tutorial on Every Tuesday. In this tutorial we're going to make this exact concert ticket. Uh, we will learn how to layer everything properly. We're going to set up this up perfectly to be handed off to a printer. It's set up at 300 dpi CMYK and it has 1 8 inch bleeds on all sides and let's get started. This is the first part of two parts for this ticket. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new file, file new, and we're going to put in five and a half inches by two inches and one eighth inch bleed is the equivalent of 0.125 inches. So put that in there and hit OK. And right here you can see CMYK PPI 300. All right, so we need to get a color palette established. And for this, we're gonna be using this nice teal color, this gray, and this off-white color. So in our layers, uh, we're going to get a background color layer started. So I'm just gonna label this background color and grab my rectangle tool by hitting M dragging this out and we're going to color this i'm going to hit i on my keyboard to grab my eyedropper tool and i'm going to click on this gray so now we have our background color so we're going to lock this layer clicking right here and then we're going to create a new layer clicking this little icon and as you'll see we've got these big ribbon type um, graphics back here so to get uh, a good layout established for our ticket we're gonna we're gonna make those next so how I do this is I grab my rectangle tool again by hitting M on your keyboard and I want to make a rectangle that extends beyond the the width of the current concert ticket and it's about um, I'd say about half as high so right here looks pretty good and I'm gonna color this my teal color so the reason why we have it extended beyond the, the ticket is because we're going to shear it and whenever you shear something it's going to tilt a little bit. So we just want to make sure that we're always um, taking care of our bleed section, which a bleed on anything means that when you print it out, when you cut it, if you don't cut it totally straight, you're not going to see like white areas where you didn't cut straight and everyone would know it. So this makes sure that you always have a little bit extra kind of safe area. So that's what a bleed is all about, which is why um, it's always good to have that on a document that, that has color that goes right off the page or graphics for that matter. So in order to get this at the, the angle that we have here, we're going to use our shear tool, which is located in your toolbox right here. So we're going to double click on this and we're going to be using a negative eight degree shear angle. Uh, make sure you have vertical selected as the axis, and if you click preview, you can see um, that's what we want it to look like. So hit OK. And I'm just going to drag this down and kind of match up to what um, this one looks like. So we kind of like come in around here to the top and bring it over a little. So that's good. Um, the next thing we'll do is make this little ribbon right here. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool again. Make my rectangle. Which I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Okay. So it's, it's pretty trendy these days. You see the little notch ribbon. So I'll show you how I do it. Um, a lot of people, if you want to make it totally perfect, you can turn on your rulers by hitting Command R or Control R if you're on a PC, and you can drag a rule down a guideline and kind of hit the center of this node right here, and then release. And then you want to hit the plus sign on your keyboard to be the, the Add Anchor Point pen tool, and then you just click on that point, and then with your arrow key, just kind of tap it a few times. And that's how you can get um, that pretty quickly. If you don't, if you don't want to take the time and, and draw out a guideline, and then you've got guidelines all over your document, and you have to take the time to remove them and unlock them to remove them, it can be kind of a hassle. So I usually 
um, I'll cheat it a little bit so this is how I do it um, with my rectangle I'll kind of this node is usually always here so I just hover over it and then I hit the, the plus and then I just click without moving my mouse at all and then I, I just do the same thing I hit the the arrow key and you can see that it's a little high so I can just nudge it down it's not like perfect but um I don't know does anyone ever cut a ribbon perfectly so I'm happy with it that's all that matters I'm actually gonna knock this out a little more okay delete this guy so this has to also follow the same angle so I'm gonna double click on my shear tool again click the whenever you set a shear angle it'll act as your default um, throughout the document so always double check make sure it's good but um, we can just hit OK here oops I need to select it before I can do that all right we got it now I'm gonna um, as you can see we've got these these horizontal lines right not these green ones ignore those um, we got these horizontal lines right here that are teal and we need one to run between our big ribbon and our little ribbon so we're gonna do that next so we're gonna lock um, first we're gonna label this we're gonna lock that layer and then we're gonna create a new layer and this is gonna be horizontal lines and we're gonna grab our line tool which if you hover over the line tool you can see it's that um, backslash key on your keyboard so we're gonna just make a straight line right now and we do that by holding shift clicking and then dragging and we want to make sure the stroke is out in front and I'm gonna um, hit the I key on my keyboard and then I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna click on my on my blue and then I'm gonna come into my stroke palette and I'm gonna um, make this two points and I need two of these so I'm gonna hold alt click drag hold shift to and drag and now it it's perfectly aligned when you hold shift now I'm gonna um, bring it down here and I'm gonna double click on my shear with those selected hit OK and I've got that one and I've got this one so I'm gonna kind of get this the distance that I want those look pretty similarly distanced from the the main ribbon you can do an exact measurement if you want or you can eye it like I'm going to do and as you can see um, this little ribbon can actually get nudged up a little bit so I'm gonna unlock that ribbon layer and nudge it up a little that looks good lock that again the horizontal lines layer I'm gonna drag below my ribbon layer which I'll explain later so just drag it below and lock it for now now create another new layer this is gonna um, this is gonna cover these horizontal lines right here um, that are kind of a faux texture on here just a nice effect that I like to use from time to time so in order to um, to make this we're gonna use our blend tool so we're gonna name our layer angled lines we're gonna grab our line tool and whenever you hold shift and use the line tool you're gonna draw a 45 degree angle just like this so we're gonna draw one of those we're gonna make it pretty big because as it stretches across this whole thing you want to make sure that it covers um, the whole ticket you don't want any parts where you see like the end of it we don't want that so we're gonna take this we're gonna um, apply this off-white color to it I'm just grabbing my eyedropper tool holding shift and clicking on the off-white and then I'm gonna make a copy of this by holding alt shift click oops, alt shift alt and drag hold shift and now we got these two lines right apart from each other so these are the two lines that we're gonna blend together so we want to double click on our blend tool over here in the toolbox and right here you'll see um, you can choose from a bunch of options and we're gonna do specified steps 
and we're gonna do let's do a hundred so now we get this little icon and you have to define what shape is gonna blend with what shape so we're gonna hover over the, our first line and click when you see that little X appear and then hover over the second one and click so right now we have two lines with a blend between them and I think the lines can be a little thicker so let's make them 1.5 inches or points thick and now we want to expand them so we want all these separate lines to be separate stroked lines right now we only have two stroked lines so we're gonna go ob object expand hit OK now we have all the lines as separate lines with their own stroke and we want them to be separate shapes now so we have to go object expand one more time so this is going to make we won't have a, a stroke defined on these anymore they'll be like rectangles they'll just be shapes so hit OK and now we've got them all together and to clean this up a bit I like um, putting a clipping mask on things when they extend super far beyond my, my artboard so this is really easy to do um, just hit M on your keyboard to grab your rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw it doesn't matter what color it is just around my artboard and include the bleed and make this rectangle and then I'm going to also select the lines so I'm gonna hold shift click on the lines. so now both of those are are selected and now I'm gonna right click and hit make clipping mask so now they're all contained within this and if you ever want to um, get back to where you are you just select it right click release clipping mask and you're right where you s right back to where you began so I'm going to drag um, this right above the background color and actually as you probably have noticed this is not the right color so we're gonna go to our transparency menu and we're gonna click soft light and we're gonna set it at 10 percent that looks more like it cool so the next thing we'll do is add some text so we're gonna call this our text layer and we're gonna use two fonts Lee Gothic and marketing script and I will put both of those links to download those fonts right below the video so you can get those so we're gonna type out all of our text so I got Ben Howard as one thing I have live in concert and then I have opening with and then the oops the sunshine sisters and I've got my date which is zero five actually I'm gonna save this for later um, let's just get these guys taken care of for now so Ben Howard is g going to be and so is opening with these are gonna be set in the league gothic cool and live in concert and the sunshine sisters gonna be set in marketing script Ben Howard's gonna be set in this off-white color and we're gonna do a faux um, a faux drop shadow so we're just gonna do um, you're gonna select Ben Howard hold all and just drag a little bit and then um, hold command shift and then your left bracket to send behind and then we're gonna color it um, the gray color using our eyedropper tool and then I'm gonna select both of these and group them together by going command G or control G on a PC live in concerts gonna be colored the gray and opening with is gonna be colored the gray sunshine sisters gonna be off-white okay so 
this will wrap up the first part of this tutorial. Um, the next half we'll put all of our type in, we'll get our row and seat number ribbons um, all put in, we'll apply our paper texture, and we'll be all set. So on to video two.